Hi everyone, I'm Jenny and wanted to show you a tour of our new RV and uh, before we do go inside to talk about the new RV and the, the things we did to make it our own, let's do a recap of how it looked when we first brought it home. of our brand new Grand Design Imagine 2670MK. Um, this is our first uh, RV that we've ever purchased. Uh, it will be our second RV trip that we take. Uh, we rented an Airstream that was 16 feet long uh, last summer and that was our test to see if we were going to like this and if we wanted to try and actually own one and go for real. Um, and I will tell you, 16 feet feet in an Airstream is not very big. Um, of course, Airstreams don't have slides. This lovely uh, RV does have slides. So I was going to show you um, what we've done for this. Now, this one is 32 feet long, so it's really tr it's more than twice as long because of the way Airstream does their numbers. But we're not going to talk about Airstream. We're going to talk about the green design, which is where we're at today. So this is the main area, and as, as you look around um, the entire room, you'll see that we actually have two slides. Uh, we have a slide that covers the kitchen and the recliners, or the, the kitchen table and the recliners. And then we have the other slide that is the stove on down through the TV area. So that really increases our space by six feet here. So it feels nice and wide and very spacious, which we're really, we're really happy about. Um, we loved this unit. This, this one is one of the more popular units, and it was well worth the wait. Um, we did have to wait, gosh, I don't know how many weeks. We ordered it in early April, and we picked it up at the end of July. Wow. Yeah, the end of July. So we waited a bit, but we're very happy that we got what we wanted. But the main thing about this design is that it has this lovely island, center island area that has the sink built in and in the island. I really like that. Um, so this comes standard, the sink along with this really cute, um, would you call this a sink cover? Yeah, sink drain. Drain cover. Um, stainless steel, we love this about this, this is all standard, um, really cute uh, modern design. And then what we have done, as you can see all of this obviously is standard, but what we have done is we have added certain things to the RV to maximize the space. Now we're not going to live in here full time, we're just really weekend warriors. But we still want it to be comfortable and as spacious as possible. As possible. One of the things that we did is that we put in these these shelves, and they work perfect. Um, give you plenty of extra space. Uh, we've got our dishes in there and our bowls, spices. Some of these things will sit out on the counter when we're at our RV spot for the week. Um, but when we're traveling, of course. If you can tuck it away, then you don't have to worry about anything flying. So that's kind of the goal there. Um, then we've also used, with the shelves, we've used containers to put things in, like our glasses, so we don't have to worry about things flying all over the place or breaking. Now, before I go on, I want to show you something that Dennis did, and that is our custom backsplash that he put in. 
Um, it comes uh, standard with this fabric, and it's very nice fabric, but we wanted to have a little extra something just to kind of break it up so it wasn't all the same color. And so, of course, I think I picked out the most difficult um, <laughs> design for him to do, which he was very appreciative of. But this is what it looks like. It's peel and stick pieces, and it's just add it on, of course, and then you have to cut and make it fit perfectly. Now, I will say that I was like of the, uh, the, the idea, I wanted to expand the backsplash all the way down, but I was vetoed. So we still have extra, and I'm hoping that maybe I can talk them into that down the road. But anyway, let's go on. Um, the stove, the one thing we did with the stove is, not with the stove really, but with the oven, is at the dealership, and we did buy this at Bill Thomas RV, um, the person who gave us the kind of quick uh, orientation tutorial, he told us that it's a good idea to put a pizza stone in the oven so that you won't have your oven won't burn uh, whatever you're baking. And so we found a, a pizza stone on Amazon that is the exact size, it's perfect. So that is in there ready to go. Um, as far as the stove top, it has this glass cover um, that you just lift up. And you can tell I haven't done this before. Um, oh, here we go. So, so it just lifts up and we have three burners. So it's uh, nice, nice and clean and new because we haven't used it yet. All right, so moving on to the fridge. Um, we haven't done a lot yet in the fridge, but we have extra little containers inside there just for when we get food to put in the fridge to keep things from sliding all over the place. And then it also has these little, let's see if I can get in here, these little guys that will rise up so it'll help keep the food from flying out of the fridge, which is kind of handy. Again, we haven't done any of these this yet. We'll have to give you another, or bring another video to you guys after we do our first trip and let you know what we learned. And we're very new um, with all of this. And then here's the freezer. There we go. And I just have two containers in there for now, but there's pretty, there's a lot of room in here. I'm mean, pretty impressed with which, with how much uh, space we have for that. Oh, and I have to stop here. Here's one of our extras that we added, a little picture of our granddaughter, Addie. We have to have her join us on our trips. She's such a cute pie. And we have plenty of space there for the next grandbaby and big grandbabies after that. So we're ready to go with that. Down here, these are two drawers that had inserts and I took the inserts out. This one was for wine. We're not really wine drinkers. This will honestly probably be our snack drawer. And then this drawer had a spot for like dog bowls. We don't, we are not dog folks. We have cats and so far I haven't convinced uh, Dennis to let me bring the cats. But it's a good spot for our paper products and napkins and things like that. And then here's our pantry. And I don't have a lot in there yet, but you can see I've got some containers in there with some canned food items, some pasta. This will be our spot for soda and beer and water and any other beverage beverages we want to store there. So plenty of room. And then here's another custom enhancement that we did. And this is really cool. It is a towel, a towel holder. So I'll take that out so you can see it. This is command stripped on. It is, there's no installation beyond a command strip. It's amazing. And we just bought that off of Amazon. And I'm sure that Dennis will be happy to share some links um, of where we bought all these cool pieces from. But got that from Amazon. And it fits perfect because there's this lift over the island. So you're not going to run into this because this will naturally keep you kind of away from that. So it's, it's perfect. So we decided to put our paper towel holder there. Now we could, if we wanted to pull that off and just use it for a towel wrap, e be easily, easy enough to do that as well. So very versatile. This desk area is probably gonna be our coffee bar area. Um, we've got a little Keurig sing single server, single serve unit here. Um, this will hold our 
K-Cups. So that's handy dandy right there. Um, right now I don't have it like secured to the base, but I did buy, let me see if I can find it. So you can see what it is, some museum putty that you use to secure it. Yes, so museum putty, um, it is so that you, you apply it to whatever you want to stay put and then it won't move around. It's supposed to be able to hold, it says over 40 items, it works on wood and other surface, surfaces, it's removable and reusable. So we'll have to let you know how that works. Um, we got that recommendation off of somebody else's tips and tricks. So we're kind of anxious to try that out. Now up here, we're using this to store more kitchen items, um, maybe stuff that besides the plates and bowls that you need. So we've got, we've got a little pitcher up there and I've got some Tupperware. These guys was another tip from another YouTuber. They are basically Ziploc bags that are reusable and aren't they so cute? So this is actually four bags stored right here together and what are they called? Um, zip, zip tops. Zip tops. We'll have a link um, on Amazon for those two. So those are up there. We've got some coffee mugs in this nice container here so they won't fall around or break. I have a little blender right here. When we're camping, we'll probably have that sitting out, but when we're traveling, it fits up there nicely. And then we've got some more Tupperware, and just we actually have some open available space, which is kind of nice. And then these guys are just baking dip pans that are silicone and nice and perfect for camping. And then we've got some wood bowls and trays. Um, got these at the Waterloo Mercantile, which just happens to be a little store that uh, we own uh, in Waterloo, Illinois. Um, I have to plug it. Uh, we do have a website, so if you're interested in ordering anything, waterloomerc.com. Um, these are sold out, unfortunately, but we do have bowls in a different pattern um, if you're interested in that design. And then we have these trays, too, that fit perfectly in here. And we do have these trays still in stock at the Merc. Isn't that cute? Um, it's, it's by Mud Pie. It's the Indigo Blue Collection. I absolutely love it. And I usually don't um, bring stuff home from the store. I'm pretty good about that, but I figured, hey, it's a new RV. I have to stock it, right? Um, these are some collapsible bowls that I found that, okay, I haven't done this yet. Okay, there we go. So they just expand out when you need a mixing bowl, and then they just collapse back when you're done. Well, after you wash them, of course. And it has a lip for pouring. Super handy. And then a few more of the indigo blue bowls just for some fun stuff there. Um, we added some cute little prints. Uh, these are just command stripped on, super lightweight. Have our calendar, our camping calendar. And then these two drawers I'm using for kind of desk items or just maybe like junk drawers but with actual like things that are intentional for camping so we have my whole uh, bunches of command strips because you can never have too many of those I have a little portable flashlight that does that and then it turns on but I won't mess with that right now flashlight uh, rope one of these guys. Next drawer is more office supplies, clothes pens, a clothes line, all kinds of good stuff. A deck of cards because you never know when you're going to need that. So that's all right there. And then we have these two drawers here. You see, there's so much space and places to put things. I love it. So in here, I have a blanket that folds up, folds up, and you can use it for picnics or whatever. It's perfect to have it there. Uh, good for tablecloth use. And a couple of American flags. And then we're feeling on patriotic. And then over here, let's see. 
we have the Grand Design user manual and all that good stuff that they give you. So you know when it's a rainy day and we don't have anything to do, we can read our, our manuals. And then I have some blankets, so if it's a little chilly, we have some throw blankets in there. And then... And those are all accessible underneath yes. here. So if you want to get to it, if you don't want to open the drawer, you can simply move these cushions and you'll see that this lifts up and you can get right to it there. And then you can see there's a ton more storage that we're not even using right now. And then something else I wanted to point out is that these cushions are reversible. So we have them on with the check side showing, but if we wanted to, we could switch it up, put it in here, and we could have the leather side. So that's kind of fun too. So if you don't like one design, you can just flip it to the other. Um, we've got a few more prints there. These are wonderful recliners that have, that have, um, I can't think of what I'm saying. Heated massage. Yes. And Three cup holders. These actually recline. Let's see if I can actually do it. Let's see. It's been a while since I tried this. So there's a pull here. Yes. Oh, this is nice because we have the fan right here. And they can rain back even farther. Oh. Yep. I don't know how. I'll have to learn that. And then you have to cut. <laughs> and then over here we have uh, we moved the mirror. The mirror was positioned the other way. Horizontal. Horizontal. We decided we wanted it to be more like long. Vertical. <laughs> Thank you. Vertical. Um, just made a lot more sense to us. We know a lot of people have done that and we thought that makes a lot more sense and then we found um, another picture or sign, fabric, canvas, whatever we call it, hanging. It's from the Royal and Mercantile as well. And this is perfect because when we close the slide, this will fit right, you know, the slide can come through. And uh, I haven't learned all the technical terms yet, and we don't have to take it down every time we leave. So, right, kind of, the slides are very unforgiving. So, if you have a drawer yeah. or something like that, it will break it. Exactly. So, we wanted to decorate in a way where we weren't constantly having to move everything back into place and then take it down again when we travel. Just that seemed like a bad idea for us. So, we, we wanted to pick things that would work with the slides. One thing that we will have to move, which we don't think is a big deal, is our rugs that we added. Um, this was a steal of a deal. I think I paid $13 for this rug. I think it's so cute. And um, when you get a price that good, you like it that much more. So that rug uh, just kind of gives it that homey feeling when we're here and we're camping. And then over here, We've got our trash can that we added, and it's in a spot where we don't have to worry about moving it because that's obviously in line with the island, so that's a perfect spot. The fan, if we decide to take the fan with us, we'll just move it right here, and then it will be fine as, fine as well. Um, and then we have one more rug in here, and it's kind of in front of the sink. It um, is a gorgeous rug, again, available at the Board of Emergency Hill that um, I absolutely adore. So that is the living room. And now, do you have anything to add? Oh, I forgot about the TV. So this is like, how could you forget about the TV? So um, the TV is a televator. Is that what, okay, thank you. It's on a televator. So it slides up, slides down where it's not being in use. And then there's a, a cover. So it just is part, you just have a, counter that goes all the way down so if you're cooking and you're prepping a big meal and you don't want the TV there so that you know you can use all this space then you can just hit a button it goes down you've got this whole space to do all of your prep work and your cooking I love I think it's fantastic of course you've got the fireplace down here and I don't know much about the fireplace Dennis will have to tell you about the fireplace um, you can use a remote control to turn it on. 
Um, it actually heats the space if you want it to, or you can turn it on to just make it decorative and so it uh, so it looks nice. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. You're going to show us. Oh, very nice. It's been um, summertime still here in Illinois, so I have not had any interest in turning it on myself. Um, but over here there are two more cabinets, which right now I just have some more things for outside use. I have a candle in there and um, just some miscellaneous items, but I like that you have that space and that availability. And then we have over here, we have a puzzle, we have some books. Okay, mainly they're my books, but some books for us to read, some good stuff there. And over here we have some more pictures that we added on the walls. Um, just things that make it more special. And I, I just realized I didn't show you all the neat drawers here. So I need to show you what we've got, where we've got things stored. So this drawer is going to be um, just uh, washcloths and pot holders. This is just some miscellaneous utensils that we're going to need to cook with. These are collapsible measuring cups. I kind of went a little crazy with the collapsibles because I thought it was so cool. These are chip, chip clips and magnetic measuring spoons. Like I said, I may have gone a little crazy, but it's so cool. And then this drawer is dish towels and some more trivet pot holders, good stuff like that. And then this drawer is a really long, big drawer. We've got our silverware, our flicker flacker, and some other useful gadgets, and then um, our cutting boards, and other miscellaneous items that we'll need when we're cooking. So lots of fun stuff. And then over here, on this side, we have more drawer space. Um, we have some more utensils here. And I think this is another utensil drawer, yep. Oh, I have to show you this. This is a collapsible funnel. Like I said, it's amazing what you can buy online these days. So that is there. And then we have, yet again, some more um, utensils. We'll know more after our first camping trip if we're missing anything or if we have things we'll never use. We'll kind of figure that out as we go. But then this cabinet is where we have our pots and pans. And I have another uh, shelf that I put in there. And I actually have an Instapot in there, um, which I can use as a crock pot too, which I love. I have, we added these um, storage units here on the door. So we've got dish soap. And we've got our little wraps that we'll need um, on the trip and Ziploc bags. And again, something that's collapsible that I have to show you. This is a collapsible colander. And I have two different sizes, but this is one of them. Isn't that so cool? Love it. All right, and then that collapses back. Right, and then that just closes. And that, I think, is the end of the kitchen tour. So let's go back and I'll show you the bathroom. So the one thing with this unit that's nice is that when you're driving, you know, obviously the slides would be in, but the way that it's built, the bathroom is not a part of the slide. So if you needed to stop and use the restroom and you didn't want to use the rest stop and you just wanted to use your RV, you could actually get to it at a rest stop. And um, it's a pretty spacious uh, space. We did add some things to the bathroom just to make it a little um, more streamlined. We've got our shampoo and conditioner in those little plastic bottles. And then those are mounted on the wall with, again, our favorite thing in the world, command strips. They're waterproof command strips and they're fabulous. We added the soap, or yeah, the bar, the bar of soap holder. I know I'm saying that wrong, but we added that, and then we added the razor um, holder as well. So just kind of gets things up out of the way, and they do include the little 
shelves up there, but this way you don't have to worry about things falling. It's really nice. And then over here on this side, Dennis again added the backsplash, which I absolutely love. It turned out great. And I don't know, did you did your before video show it without the backsplash? So if you saw the before video, you can see how much of a difference it really did make. So I really love that. Um, and then we have over here, we have this mounted. This is our soap holder for when you're washing your hands. You've got your soap. Um, our toilet paper holder, we decided to mount it here. Again, this is another command strip. Um, let me pull this up. So this is just attached with command strip. And of course, in a traditional bathroom, you would turn it the other way, but we thought in the RV, it might make more sense to go vertical. Um, and then this RV has these cubby holes, which are perfect for your towels. So we've got we've got beach towels, and then regular towels, uh, washcloths, and then the other really cool thing about this. Let's see if I can show you this without making a mess. Um, behind here, this goes really far back, so we it have goes, it goes as deep as the shower is. So that is the perfect place to keep extra toilet paper, paper towels, things that you're not going to necessarily need all the time. Um, just when you're out, you need some, and it's right there. I love that. And then over here, we have another one of these handy-dandy um, holders on the door which, where we've got some trash bags for the trash can and some cleaning supplies down in here. So that's super handy. These drawers will be used to hold makeup and hair dryers and stuff like that. So you can see that fits nice in there. And then we've got this cabinet, which, you know, medicine drawer, tooth, toothbrushes, all of the sunscreen and bug repellent, anything you could think of there. Um, we added right in here another command hook and I've I love that style. Command strips getting really pretty with their hooks. Um, that's just for a towel. Um, when you're washing your hands, you need a towel to dry your hands with. Um, this came with the RV, so that's a towel rack. But then we also added another hook. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a hook over here. Right outside the shower, we can hang another towel or two, um, which is always ha extra handy. And then in here, we have yet another cabinet which will just hold some more things in there. So again, so many options makes it so easy to put everything that you're going to need. Um, one thing we didn't show is over here we added this key, key holder, command strip holder for your keys. And then we've got this that we added again with command strips. You can never have too many hooks and things. And so now we're in the bedroom and this we um, we added a few touches to it as well. Um, the space above the bed, it has these, I have it up right now so you can see what we have inside, but it's just uh, these uh, drawer, or drawers, doors that lift up and then they stay so they're, they're very nice where they'll stay up until you're ready to have them go back down again. And I have six baskets that I bought from Target they're the taller ones, they fit perfectly in there. So that'll be perfect for socks or anything like that that you just want to store and not worry about. So those go in there. And then we have this uh, set up on both sides of the bed. So you have a wardrobe with hanging uh, bar to hang clothes. And then two drawers right here. Oh. And this drawer fits the shorter or smaller um, basket, again from Target, so perfect for that. And then we added these hooks on both sides that will be for our hats that we can um, put right there. And then there's also, I know you can't see this right now, but there is an outlet here and then at the bottom of the bed. And then there's also in here an outlet and I believe there's USB connections. So when you're sleeping at night, you can charge your phone, you know, your iPad or anything like that. It's very handy. There is a spot over on the other, above the other window where you could mount a TV if you wanted. 
I doubt that we will do that. We're not much of watching TV in bed. Um, a lot of times we'll watch YouTube, watch other RV um, YouTube videos at night. Um, that's usually what we watch and that's just on our iPad. But if you want a TV, that's where it goes. The thing I really want to show you is our bedding that we um, have for the RV. We splurged on this because we heard about Betty's, B-E-D-D-Y-S, I believe, and... From Less Junk, More Journey. Yes. Um, so, the if you haven't heard of the uh, blog or the YouTubers, Less Junk, More Journey, they are fantastic. We love watching them every Sunday night. Um, they're so cute. They have two little kiddos, and they're just a lot of fun. And so they have Betty's, and we decided that we were going to give that a shot. And they went on sale. We got a good coupon code, and we splurged. And the nice thing about it is the comforter and the sheet are all built in together. So making the bed and getting it, you know, after you know, you just want your bed your area to look pretty and not a be you know take 20 minutes or 30 minutes to get it to look the way you want it to look and all you have to do to make it look like this is there is a zipper on the comforter that you just unzip and you pull back and then you're ready to slide in the sheet is right there it's part of the bed almost of like the a big comforter. sleeping bag yes so we have not tried it yet. We cannot wait to try it. We think it's going to be so comfy. We've heard it's so fabulous. And then when you get up in the morning, you're ready to make the bed. You just zip it back up, which I'm going to do right now. And you're done. So I love it. I am one of these people that likes to have the bed made every day. So this is perfect. And then the other thing in here, and I, we didn't have to do anything to change it, you know, and I don't know that we will, but you never know. Um, you have another wardrobe over here, which is a ton of space. I joked with Dennis that this was, this was my wardrobe as well as this area over here. He didn't seem to argue, so I think that means it's, it's really mine. And then a drawer here, and then finally one here too. Lots of storage, which I really appreciate. Um, you know, you can never have too much storage. So anyway, I think that's it. And uh, thank you so much for coming with us on this adventure. And we cannot wait to share more with you. Our first trip is in a week and a half. And we are ready. We just can't wait. So we'll see you all real soon. Thanks, everyone.